My colleagues kept teasing me today during work. <laughs> they kept on teasing me about how nervous I looked during my wedding. <laughs> yeah, you definitely looked nervous. <laughs> your voice was shaking when you were giving your speech. I could see your fingers trembling too. Really? <laughs> That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I was also really nervous, though. I almost tripped when I entered the hall. But my boss actually praised me today about how wonderful our wedding was. She told me it was a great wedding ceremony. She said that she was moved by the performances and enjoyed them a lot. I honestly loved our wedding, too. Yeah, I think it was a great success considering the small amount of time we had to prepare for it. I'm really proud of what we were able to present. Many of my friends also commented on how fast we got married. It's only been a few months since our first date. Yeah, I guess people see it as a rushed marriage. Not many get married so quick like us. We both fell in love at first sight. We just couldn't resist the urge, could we? We were both eager to get married. It was our dream. If we just wanted to date someone, we might have dated longer just to enjoy being in love. But we were both concerned about our future. We wanted to get married as soon as possible. That's true. Marriage was the ultimate goal in our relationship. Honestly, time doesn't matter in terms of dating. Some couples break up after dating for five or even ten years. Ten years? I think you're exaggerating. <laughs> oh, by the way, my grand sent us a gift to congratulate us for getting married. She wasn't able to participate in the ceremony, but she told me she wanted to celebrate it with us at least. She's really sweet. Apparently, she had a hard time deciding what to get for us. She had no idea what we wanted. And as a result, she ended up sending us vouchers. When I received the gift, I was pretty surprised to see how thin our present looked. <laughs> I thought maybe Gran was playing a prank on us. She probably wants us to buy what we really want. I guess she just thought that was best for us. I honestly think she made a wise choice. Vouchers are one of my favorite presents. I prefer getting what we really want than random presents. I can buy whatever I want. I'm glad they spent time on choosing our presents, but what's the point if it's useless? We can buy some pretty expensive stuff using the vouchers. Should we buy some home appliances? Maybe a dishwasher? Or a nice vacuum cleaner? Nice. We have to thank your grandma. Let's discuss about what to buy when I get home. Yeah, let's decide together. There's so many options, it's going to take a while to choose. But I have the final say in this. Why would you say that? Chris, the gift is for both of us, not just you. Let's decide together. I'll have the final say in important matters like this. I don't want you to get cheap and useless appliances. Then what do you want, Chris? Definitely food. Something nice to eat. That's way better than getting some cheap appliances that would break easily. Really? Uh, yeah, obviously. Are you stupid? I want really nice appliances, the high-quality expensive ones. The vouchers won't be able to cover for the price. Have you seen the advertisement for the brand new washing machine? It's mind-blowing! Looking in the long run, that's the best choice. We'll be able to use them for a long time, and we don't have to waste money, do we? I'm not sure. We can find cheap, but high-quality ones nowadays. Some of them are even produced by famous companies. They won't break down so easily. I don't think they're too bad. No, no. Y you have no idea, Hannah. People who fall for these cheap appliances and the useless ones you can buy just using vouchers are definitely dumb or poor. <laughs> I guess you're one of them. <laughs> that sounds rude. Can't you be more polite? Huh? How am I rude? You sound arrogant. It's as if you're looking down on people, including me, and making fun of the poor. Well, I'm better off than most people, and that includes you as well. Do you look down on me, too? You think I'm not capable of making good decisions about how to spend our money? Obviously, can't you see? Why do you think so? I have a higher salary and a better educational background than you. Many would want to live a life like mine. I'm definitely more respectable. I'm better than you in many fields. Huh? Are you serious, Chris? Yeah, I'm dead serious. What's wrong about it? Everything's wrong with what you just said. I thought you were a high school graduate. You can't change that fact now. But I graduated university, so I'm clearly smarter than you. 
Yes, I'm a high school graduate, but is that a big deal? I have a decent job. You work for a small business that barely pays you enough money for your monthly salary. On the other hand, I work for one of the biggest corporations that's famous internationally. Whenever I tell people the company I work for, they admire and respect me, saying that they want to be like me. So is that why you think you're better than me? Yeah, I think it's pretty clear, and I bet you want to be like me too. I don't understand. What do you not understand about it? I can't believe it. You're stupid, just like I thought. <laughs> I guess it's too difficult for a high school graduate to understand. Sorry, I have to go back to work now. See you later. Let's talk again when we get home. Hey, what's going on? Our house is a filthy mess. I've never seen our house so dirty. You're in charge of organizing the house when I'm away. I hope you do better with the cleaning next time. Welcome home. Why are you so late? You finally come home from your business trip? I only left the house for three days. A child would be able to do better than this. You haven't even washed the dishes. And look at the huge pile of laundry. Don't you know how to use a washing machine? I can't even walk through the living room without stepping onto your clothes. Can't you at least take the trash out? It smells horrible in here. Huh? Why should I do that? It's not my responsibility. Just clean it for me now that you're home, Hannah. Why can't you help me with some of the housework? I hope you can look after yourself at least while I'm on my business trip. I am always the one doing everything around the house. I've never seen you do any housework since we got married. I thought that was your job. The wife should be in charge of housework. When did we decide that? We never had a discussion about it. It's obvious, isn't it? Common sense. I'm not a housewife, Chris. I have a job to do and work out every day like you. We both have a job, so we should do the housework together. Let's be fair here. It's too much of a burden for me if I'm the only one in charge. I can't do housework. No, let me rephrase that. I won't do housework. I don't want to do it. I hate it. At least take the trash out, then. That's all I'm asking for. You just have to carry the trash for a few steps, and that's it. It's normal for couples to do housework together nowadays. What era are you living in? Well, that's your opinion. Don't force your ideals onto me. Then how about you ask your friends and colleagues? I bet they're at least helping with something. You're being misogynistic. Are you looking down on me because I'm the wife? Come on, Chris. You can't be this old-fashioned. We're living in the modern era. You have to move on. Ugh, shut up. Remember, I have more power than you. I can do whatever I want with you by force if you don't do something about your attitude. You're annoying me. This is a warning. This is why high school graduates are poor. The only thing they do is talk and never do the work. What did you just say? Are you making fun of high school graduates now? You're really making me upset. We have equal power as wife and husband. We have to respect each other as a couple, Chris. We love each other, don't we? Stop being so arrogant and help me with the housework. Arrogant? You're the arrogant one. Look at you complaining over the tiniest things. What's the big deal? Just do the housework and everything will be fine. If you don't shut your little mouth, I'm getting a divorce, Hannah. Huh? What? Did you just threaten me to do housework? You're my wife. You should do all the housework. It's your job. It's your expectation as a wife. I married you in the first place so that you can devote yourself to me. Wives should devote themselves to their husbands when they get married. Oh my gosh. I guess you were born in the wrong era. How come I never realized you were like this before I got married? Let me tell you, you never wanted a wife. You just wanted a housemaid who's willing to devote herself to you. A housemaid who also had a job and brought money to the household. I'm definitely not a housemaid. I'm an independent woman. And I thought you respected me as your partner. It's ridiculous how you're threatening me to do housework. Why would you ever bring up the topic of divorce? We just got married, Chris. I thought you also wanted to get married. 
That's a good comeback from someone stupid like you. <laughs> but you're actually right. Huh? Please, Chris, stop with the nonsense. I might have wanted a housemaid who also brought money into the household. I never wanted an annoying wife like you. To be my wife, you have to complete both housework and your job perfectly. That's my expectation. If you can't do the housework for me, I'll dump you. We're getting divorced. I'm giving you one last chance. What are you talking about? You can't be serious. You don't want a divorce, do you? Then just do all the housework for me. You have no say in this. I never knew you were such a horrible person. I'm really disappointed in you. Hey, are you still not home? Why do you have to work so late when you don't even get paid much? Where's my dinner? I'm starving. Didn't I tell you to prepare my dinner before I got home? I don't care. Do it yourself. Huh? You don't care? I'm not asking you to prepare a grand meal. Come on, Hannah. You can do better than this. You haven't even washed the dishes we use for breakfast. And the laundry is a huge pile in the basket. I ran out of clean shirts. What am I supposed to wear tomorrow? We can't waste money to buy new shirts. <sighs> You're slacking off housework. I guess you'll have to clean and wash it on your own then. I won't be doing the housework from now on. You're in charge. What the hell are you saying? Enough with all your boring jokes. I can't do this anymore. It's too much for me. I can't be treated unfairly like this. I'm not your housemaid. Go get one if you just need someone to do housework for you. I'm leaving. So are you boycotting? Running away from your responsibilities? I thought you were an independent adult. Stop this nonsense. It's not funny. I have power over you. I bet you don't want me to make you do it by force. Just do it, Hannah. What? How do you have power over me? You're just my husband. Stop being ridiculous. You still don't understand? You're poor and a high school graduate. But I graduated university. Thanks to my educational background, I now work for one of the biggest corporations and get paid a really high salary. Didn't I tell you this the other day? I'll divorce you if you don't do the housework. How many times do I have to tell you this? I bet you don't want to get divorced with someone like me who has such a high salary. <laughs> You'll never be able to make as much money as me. Oh, I see. Then I guess I have more power than you. I make more money than you, Chris. I'm not afraid of getting a divorce. I can support myself without your help. As you hoped, we're getting divorced. Period. Huh? I'll happily divorce you. I'm finally free. I don't have to look after you anymore. This is the best day of my life. Wait a minute. Why do you sound so happy? I'm telling you we're getting a divorce if you don't change your attitude. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, I know that, and that's exactly why I'm so happy. I made my decision when you threatened me. We're over. I am so happy to get divorced. <laughs> you don't even have a high salary. What makes you think I don't make as much money as you? Are you saying that you get paid better than me? Are you stupid? Have you gone insane? Stop with the bluff. It's not funny at all. You're the stupid one. Stop assuming things about my salary. Who told you I get paid less than you? It's the truth. Okay, I have no idea why you're so confident about it, though. Why do you think so? You work for a small company that no one has ever heard of. Based on what you told me, your company makes machine parts, right? A small business making pieces of machinery. Oh gosh, I would be devastated if I worked for them. Those kind of companies don't make much profit and can only pay a small amount of salary to their employees. It's common knowledge. I guess you don't know because you're uneducated unlike me. <laughs> so you predicted my annual salary based on your biased opinion? How stupid. It's ridiculous, really. Stop being so delusional. I'm not being delusional and I'm not stupid. It's based on my knowledge and experience. Based on your tiny knowledge in your small brain and your limited experience, I guess they weren't enough, Chris. My company is indeed a small one, unlike yours that's famous internationally. 
but my company's grown rapidly and attracting great attention. They pay me quite an amount now, and my salary is steadily increasing as well. I don't believe it. That can't happen. First of all, we have different positions at work. You keep bragging about working for a big corporation, but you're just a normal employee. On the contrary, I'm a middle manager. I have much more work to handle and a lot more responsibilities. Huh? You already have that high position? How come? I'm the leader of my department. I guess people would call that a middle manager. A normal employee and a middle manager. The difference is pretty clear. So you have the highest position in your department? You? The middle manager of your company? That's impossible. How come you got a promotion while I can't get any? You're a woman and you're too young? You can't succeed. That's against the rules. My company's new compared to yours, so we don't have those old traditions like respecting seniority. Age doesn't matter as long as we work hard and have the ability to pull off that position. They value our ability, not our age or gender. That's why I have this position as a woman in her 30s. I'm young, but I'm confident that I've been through many hardships working at my company. What the hell? A company that hires you to be middle manager? Your company must be doomed. <laughs> I guess your company is going to go bankrupt soon, and you're going to be the reason for it. I'm actually a diligent worker, unlike you. I've also been awarded several times as the best worker. My company values our ability over everything. We get fired if we don't meet their expectations. There's no second chances. I bet you don't have to worry about that. The only thing you have to do is to simply go to work every day. Huh? Excuse me? You haven't accomplished a single thing at work, but you're still employed. You should thank your company for not firing you. Your colleagues and your younger employees now have a better position than you. Aren't you embarrassed? Yet you're here, bragging about the company you work for. If the company decides to restructure and fire a few of their employees, you'll be the first one to be targeted. Shut up! What's wrong with me being a normal employee? I have my own ways at work. You might, but how does the company think of that? Would they benefit from having you as their employee? And I think I told you about how much I make a year before getting married. Remember the night we had our date right after we started dating? Why do you act like you don't know about my annual salary? I guess you weren't paying attention when I was talking to you. Don't tell me you forgot about it, Chris. I don't know. I remember all the dates I had with you. You never told me about it. Did we even talk about our jobs? I definitely told you. Do you also have a bad memory? Oh, I remember. We did talk about our jobs and salary. I thought you said you made about 1500 monthly. Yeah, right. That's why I thought I had a higher salary than you. That's impossible. 1500 When did I ever tell you so? I was always paid more than that. I got more than that even for my first position. I think it was our second date. We went to a fancy restaurant. And we briefly talked about our salary. And you told me you only made 1500 a month. No, I said I made 3500 How could I afford to go to that fancy restaurant if I only made 1500 a month? I get paid more than that now. I guess you misheard me. You were drunk that day, opened a few bottles of champagne and wine. I think you had a biased opinion that high school graduates get paid less than you, which is simply rude. Did I mishear you? Does that mean I always thought you earned less than what you actually earned? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you assumed that I had a lower salary than you. And even if I got paid less than you, I still deserve some respect. Uh, no. In that case, I should be in charge. Really? If you really think so, what about now? Turns out that I get paid more than you. I guess I have power over you now. So, are you gonna do all the housework for me? You can't be making more money than me. Stop lying to me. I refuse to believe everything you told me. I don't care if you believe me or not. I will leave the house. I can't waste my time being with someone stupid like you. How am I stupid? 
I'm a university graduate. How can you, a high school graduate, call me stupid? If you're still this stupid after going to university, I think you wasted your money. Did you even learn anything? You definitely did not learn any manners or common sense. I feel sorry for your parents, honestly. Stop. I, I had enough of you. I will never believe your lies. Do you think I'm so stupid that I'll actually accept all of your bluff? I don't care. I can't waste my life being your wife. It doesn't change the fact that I'm leaving the house. I also have the official documents ready. All we have to do now is to sign them and turn it in. Then we're officially divorced. Why did you decide everything without a proper discussion? I thought we already had our conversation. You were the one that started it, remember? What did you do? Gosh, you're crazy. I heard you barged into my office. Aren't you embarrassed to do something like that? Because I wanted to check if you were lying or not. I had to make sure you were telling the truth. Just for that, you barged into our company because you didn't believe me and thought I was lying to you? Have you gone insane? I heard that you got into a fight with the guards at the entrance. The guards tried to stop me from entering, so I was fighting back. I just wanted to ask about my wife's salary, but they stopped me thinking I was some kind of maniac. They even tried to call the police. I should have the right to visit my wife's company. You are crazy for coming to my company just to ask about my salary. No one would ever do that. No wonder the guards stopped you. You're a maniac. But I think my boss eventually came out of her office and told you about my salary. Do you believe me now? There's no reason for my boss to lie about it. Yeah, but... But what? You still got something to say? Stop causing trouble to other people. This is our problem. I haven't caused trouble. You did. I was embarrassed because of you. My boss was pretty angry about it, too. All of my workers had to stop working temporarily because of the havoc you caused. After you left, my boss decided to complain about it to your company. Huh? What is there to complain about? What did she say when she contacted my company? She told your company that one of their employees followed his ex-wife to her company and barged into the office disturbing our work. What? Ex-wife? We still haven't turned in our divorce papers yet. Technically, we're not divorced yet, and you're still my wife. But we agreed to get a divorce, and I've already left the house. It's a matter of time until we officially get divorced. Stop calling me your wife. It's giving me goosebumps. And I assume you skipped work today. How can you skip work just to break into my office? You'll definitely get punished when you go to work tomorrow. I didn't cause any trouble. I just went to visit you. And your company contacted mine? A small company like yours contacted that big corporation. Know your place. They don't care about a small company like yours. You're still looking down on us? You should know your place. You have to know better than this. I don't care if your company contacted mine. My company won't do anything about it. Sorry, but you're having false hope. <laughs> A big corporation like my company can't waste their time on a small company like yours. We have more important matters to handle. There's nothing I have to worry about. I'm not scared at all. It doesn't matter whether your company is big or not. Their employee caused a problem and it's their responsibility to handle it. For us, you're just a crazy psycho who disturbed our work. For your company, you're just a useless employee who can't even get a single promotion. There's no reason for your company to protect you. You should face reality, though it may be harsh. What did you just say? When my boss contacted your company, she was able to talk with one of the executives. Doesn't that mean they were taking us pretty seriously? They told us they'll make sure to punish the employee who caused us problems and disturbed our work. Sorry, but I guess you'll have to face some consequences. <laughs> punish? There's no way you'll escape the consequences after everything you did. You have to take responsibility of your own actions. Don't look down on us just because we're a small business. We're growing rapidly and we compete against big corporations. 
There's no reason for you to look down on us. Don't underestimate us, Chris. What's going on? I, I, I can't believe it. You suddenly tell me that you have a higher salary than me. My company is going to punish me. What the hell's going on? This can't be happening to me. I guess you won't be getting any promotions in the near future. <laughs> I wonder when you'll finally get a promotion. Well, I won't stay long enough to find out. If I was your boss, I would instantly fire you. You are no use. Not only that, you're useless. You also cause trouble to the company. As your wife, I don't want a husband like you. You're stupid, delusional, have a lower salary than me, yet look down on me and take me for granted. After the incident, I was able to divorce my husband. I finally got him to sign the papers and we officially got divorced. Now I don't have to put up with all those insults anymore. I won't let anyone look down on me like that anymore. I am finally free of stress and living a happy life. Reflecting back, it was indeed my worst times when I was married to him. While I was living my happy life, my ex-husband was punished by his company and now gets paid even less. A year after our divorce, his company started suffering from financial difficulties because of social recession. And he became one of the first targets to be fired as part of restructuring just like I predicted. My company, on the other hand, took advantage of it and is continuing to grow to this day. Thanks to that, I might get a raise in the near future. Like this, my husband quickly hit rock bottom. He should have seen it coming. I respect him for graduating a good university and being able to work for a big corporation, but that doesn't mean he can make fun of others. I was shocked when he treated me like a housemaid just because I was a high school graduate and thought I got paid less than him. He is now facing the consequences of his own actions. There's no one who's willing to help him out, knowing his arrogant attitude. He also texted me he wanted another chance, but of course, I ignored him. After our divorce, I am living a happier life than ever, unlike him. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.